Hi guys, painted canvases on the Xtool D1. I was asked to do a video tutorial. First off, I'm going to apologize. The mess, my shed got partially taken out in a windstorm, so I had to move everything onto my front porch. Secondly, this is the first video I've ever made, so it is by no means going to be a professional quality. But with that in okay, mind, step one, here we go. I'm using Dollar Tree canvas boards. Uh, nothing special about them, $1.25 a piece. Paint, I'm using a paint and primer spray paint. Doesn't really matter on the brand I've found. I've got Rust Oleum, Ace, just paint and primer. I use gloss and flat. I found it doesn't really matter since I clear coat anyway. But as far as painting, I go from lightest to darkest, doing two directions, one up and one to the side for each layer. And once that dries, I'll go to my next color, which will be yellow orange, red, then black, all painted the same way. One okay, going up, layer one going to the side. Done. We'll be moving on to layer two. Again, you go from lightest to darkest, and every layer will get painted in the same way. One row this way, another layer that way. Okay, I'm getting ready to start my last coat of paint. This will be layer five, the black layer. Everything, all layers were painted the same, starting with white, progressively going darker to black. On a side note, like this picture, where it's got two colors, the way I achieved that was I printed out the image, cut it out for the color difference, laid it over, sprayed my colors on one side, Laid it over, sprayed my oranges, and the top coat I sprayed completely black. So that's how that one was done. Once this is finished, I'll let it completely dry. In the meantime, I will switch over to the image and the computer work, and then we'll get this burnt. Okay, the way I start off to prep my images, I go the internet and then I go to Imager. It's a free online software. Once there, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see an upload button. So you will click that and then you can upload your image. We're going to open that up. Now this can take more time to load up here you see the dots going in a circle, that means your image is loading. Sometimes it's quick, sometimes it's not. But once your image is uploaded, you scroll down, it'll show the image that you uploaded. You can go to crop. I'm going to be doing an 8 by 8 so I want to square crop this. And you can zoom in, zoom out, change it, whatever you'd like to do. I like it about there. I'm going to hit crop. Once that has loaded, I'll scroll back down, click the resize button. I like inches, so I'm going to convert measurement to inches. We're going to do 8 inches. DPI, I want to increase to 254. I found that works good for me. We're going to click OK again. Once it is processed, scroll down. It'll show you your images side by side. There's an advanced feature over here for contrast and brightness. I don't really mess with it. If you want to add text to your image, you can. Your next step is going to be going to Material. The Norton tab is for diode lasers. 
I'm going to scroll down to the white tile painted black and click OK. Once that loads and I scroll down, you'll see that it's inverted the image. And what that means is since we colored our canvas white to dark, what you see over here on the inverted, the darks are going to burn to the bottom layer, which will reveal the white. Anything that's white over here will be black. Once you're done with that, click download. I always choose PNG. Close that. All right, now that our file has downloaded, I'm going to minimize my screen and open Lightburn. Now once in Lightburn, I am going to go to my downloads. Here's the image I just downloaded. I'm going to bring it over into Lightburn. Right, let me close this first. Let's try that again. Bringing the image into Lightburn. There we go. Now, once I've gotten here, double click, I'll choose my power and speed. Four or five layers, I found that 6,000 millimeters a minute, 70 power works good for me. Since I processed the image through Imager, the only thing I'm going to do is make sure that pass through is turned on and that constant power mode is off. Click OK. I go up here to the display. It's going to take about an hour and five minutes to do the canvas. After that's all done, let me turn enable and re off. I will put the canvas into the D1, frame it out, and click start. And that's all I do.